Dear members, it is that time of the year again when we are getting ready for the tabling of the annual budget for the nation. So I thought I will give a few words on the general aspects of a budget and how these are done for the benefit of all of us so that we can sit back and appreciate the objective of an annual budget. Although budgeting practices can vary widely across countries, it is very important to ensure that a budget must be prudently designed and tailored to fit the specific circumstances of Malaysia's development objectives, which are outlined in the five-year development plan. An effective budgetary process is one that invites contributions from all stakeholders, such as trade associations, professional bodies, and the like, considers the suggestions and transforms them into a set of proposals for the betterment of society. As the voice of the accountancy profession and drawing on our substantial expertise in taxation and financial management, MIA has regularly submitted several proposals to the government for inclusion in the budget to support business continuity and sustainable nation building. In doing this, we also collaborate with various other local professional bodies where necessary, such as the MICPA, CTIM, as well as MICSA. Whatever said and done, we must, however, all look at the big picture and not keep asking for benefits and incentives. We must also suggest how the government can enhance its revenue collection and improve its services to the people. A good budgetary process also engenders trust among citizens that the government is listening to their concerns, listening to their voice, has a plan for achieving the economic social objectives, and will use the available resources effectively, efficiently, and in a sustainable manner. In building trust, it is important to emphasize budgetary governance. And this refers to the processes, laws, structures, and institutions in place for ensuring that the budgeting system meets these objectives in a sustainable and transparent manner. The budget fundamentally, as we all know, outlines strategies for the coming year. And it provides the tools in the form of grants, allocations, and incentives that are needed to move the economy and society in the required direction. So in developing the budget, we have to look at the estimated revenue we expect and the operational expenditure and development expenditure we wish to incur. And if there is a balance left, that will be a surplus which we retain as reserves for future needs. Or if there is insufficient revenue, we will borrow from the financial sector and service the borrowings. So we must spend on worthwhile projects and ensure that the amount spent is fair and ensure that there is no wastage. We must monitor the projects well and ensure that the outcome is in line with what was stated. We do not want to have the Auditor General issuing its report on various shortcomings and financial weaknesses of ministries which leads to wastage of public funds. So accountability and transparency is absolutely crucial. And an annual report card on how the money was spent is necessary. And more importantly, all who should be paying taxes must do so. And no one should be given special treatment. For the 2021 budget, the Ministry of Finance has established four focus areas. And these are firstly, safeguarding the welfare of the rakyat in order to protect the vulnerable segments of society and to empower and enhance the well-being of the rakyat. Secondly, enabling sustainable living. This will emphasize the environmental, social and governance or ESG perspective in development which is growing in importance in Malaysia as well as around the world and is in alignment with the UN Sustainable Development Goals.
This will also ensure sustainability for workers, markets, the environment and local communities as we face highly challenging conditions in the new normal of COVID-19. Thirdly, driving economic growth to spur economic growth and private investment and generate job opportunities. This is essential to promote consumer confidence and spending to support the economy. And fourthly, enhancing public service delivery to be outcome-based in order to better serve the right year and to enhance the ease of doing business and our national competitiveness. From these four main focus areas, you will realize that these focus areas actually are, pre are prevalent in all our budgets. It's just a question of crafting it in an appropriate manner. So we can't run away from these focus areas and, uh, and these are some things that we always have to achieve in our budgets. In order to promote a sustainable recovery, the budget will be the key document steering the economy to, for 2021. And remember that the budget is only for one year and we then need to wait for the subsequent years in terms of what the government's direction is. And as a regulator of the accountancy profession committed to nation building, MIA will continue to support the formulation and implementation of prudent and sustainable budgetary and taxation policies. As accountants, that should be the key in line with what our role as accountants requires us to do. So just get it right. Thank you very much.